Fueled by DeathCast. We put out a blog post recently about our affogato recipe. Yeah. And, th- yeah. oh, delicious. It, it's so good. I got addicted to this last year when we first got the... Uh, this Nespresso machine in yes. here, um, uh, because you know we're, we started developing our Nespresso pods back then, started looking at options and what what we're actually trying to make. Well, as soon as we got this thing in, I started making <laughs> I started making an avocado every day because it, it got hot in that little warehouse we were stuffed in last year. Yeah, you know there's like twelve of us in that tiny little room, so yeah, it got a little mucid in there. But this was this this is a great relief from the summer. So you get your your delicious hot coffee. But you get it chilled over some delicious like gelato or what I'm going to use here because I'm going to drink this uh, and I happen to be a little dairy sensitive. Right. So I'm using some uh, cashew milk based ice cream here. But it's like special. It's like snickerdoodles. So yeah, it's got snickerdoodle. a little bit of extra in there. But yeah. basically, avocado is Italian for drowned. And that's exactly what he's doing is you're, you're taking a couple like two scoops, two small scoops of, of ice cream or gelato. Um, and then you're going to either take a Nespresso pod, a little bit of espresso, or three tablespoons of hot coffee. Here we go. Here's the magic. You ready? Yep. And you're going to hear this machine. It sounds like a lawnmower. Oh, it shut off on me. Oh, it's, oh so it'll take a second. Yeah, it's got to warm up. Um, but uh, you scoop the ice cream into the cup, and then you either pour the, the, the hot espresso right over it, or you just brew up your little coffee, and you, you pour that over it as well. Um, We're going to put a little splash on that much vodka. Yeah, in yeah. Um, actually, there are a lot of variations, and they include adding a little amaretto okay, or vodka. There's the magic there's, sound. There's that sound. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, yeah. But it's going to break down um, your – you're going to experiment with about one ounce of espresso for every scoop of ice cream because the the hot coffee is going to break down the ice cream a little bit, but you don't want it to turn into just soup. You want it to keep a little bit of the body. Um, and like you said, uh, some, some of these variations do add liquor to it, so we're going to take our awesome Albany Distilling – Death Wish Coffee Vodka, and um, pour some into that out of our new little decanter. It says a splash, but... <laughs> <laughs> and then, if you want to get fancy, you can take some coffee beans and crush them up and uh, garnish the top of it with those. And But this is a staple in Italy, and they consider it a dessert. A lot of Americans um, started selling this, and a lot of the Western world started selling this as like a dessert beverage. So they've added berries and honeycomb and... Um, biscotti and coconut to it to really kind of like jack up the price and make it more of like this Look, thing. I did it again, Jeff. But yeah, it's gorgeous. It It's really refreshing. You get that little bit of coffee. You get that little bit of, um, you know, your favorite ice cream in there. And uh, like I said, with yours, you're even though you're not getting the dairy, you got a little snickerdoodle in there. So it's, it's pretty good. What, how, do you, how do you feel? Oh, that's a splash of death works vodka in there. <laughs> a little, little heavy handed <laughs> on the vodka, but that's okay. Oh, it's good though. Oh, it's so good for the summer. Woo. And uh, if you want to read this recipe again, just head on over to our blog and check out our affogato recipe there, and it uh, details everything that we just showed you. 